This week on ADI Your Dream Pusher TV, I talk with Jay Harris, the producer of Free Your Mind Networks, part two, about utilizing music to diffuse the impact of today's events. I take you on an inspirational nature walk with me, and I visit the New Depot Players Group for a preview of their play, The Souvenir. Watch how these artists use their talents to encourage and inspire the world through entertainment. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. My visionary dreamers. Adion, your dream pusher. You actually have the power to change your life. Stop dreaming and do it. You know us extraordinary folk doing the damn thing. A better life starts now. We have to start letting go of the old mindsets. And now, Adion, your dream pusher. What's going on, my visionary dreamers? Adion here, still at Free Your Mind Network Studios, and I'm here with Jay Harris, the producer. Yes, yes. JTP, the man himself, yes. the superstar. Glad to be you know? Glad to be yeah, the movement. The, the, I just that that song, that video. It, it is what it says, the movement, you know. And I'm just so glad that I was able to come back. Me and Dion was able to come back. They invite us back for your mind studios. Right. So Family. that we can dig a little bit more deeper, you know, and we want you guys to get to know them as well on an individual level too. Where did it even come from? How did the movement start the song? Well, um, it was a collaborative effort uh, mm -hmm. amongst a lot of great people uh, in a very short amount of period of time. Mm -hmm. um, but initially, um, I was doing some writing for a uh, platinum producer, 88 Fingers. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I was doing some writing projects for him, and um, I was right after George Floyd mm -hmm. had got killed. Okay. And, uh, you know, tensions were high, protests were high, you know, people's emotions were really high. Right. And we all felt like, you know, we wanted to do something, whether we was out on the front line or whatever we was doing. Mm -hmm. And so he hit me like three, it was like three, four in the morning. He said, Jay, I got this beat. And God just laid this on my heart. Man, we got to do something. I want you to right. put something with it. Mm -hmm. So I got it and I'm listening to it. I'm mm -hmm. feeling the beat like, oh, okay, all right, all right. It is a hot beat. So uh, I wrote the hook and at the time I thought that it was actually going to be uh, um, another artist, you know, that was going to perform it. Right. And so uh, he told me who he had in mind for putting on the track, and I was like, okay, all right. Do they sing? He's like, nah, they just rap. I'm uh -huh. like, who's going to sing the song? He's like, you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, all right, cool. Uh huh. Um, unfortunately, that very next day, um, I was going back and doing some other touches with it, and I found out that my brother, um, he died. You know? Yeah, unfortunately. Um, right. Unfortunately, he was um, under the duress of everything that was going on. In his last days, he kept talking about the pandemic, about the mm. protests, about the way the world was, and how it was just wow. never going to be the same. Mm -hmm. and unfortunately, he took his life. Wow. And he was like big brother. Right. He would always get you on the spot of music. I did. You know, so that's inspired. what I'm saying. This is, this is what I'm saying. You know, like, this pandemic has really not just that but you know the whole black lives matter yeah, it's just so right. much it's so much right. all at it's once and, on. and then you know you have people that figure out a way to rise above and then you have the people that that fall into what it looks like you know what i'm saying right. Right. so and then the emotions come in it and it's, it becomes overwhelming and, and unfortunately there have been a lot of people that have taken their lives and not, you know, and they lost hope, right. you know? Right. So this is why I say, even though this wasn't your, say, biological, right. but he was someone that God placed in your life exactly. for that time to help you and your other partner, exactly. you know, um, learn about probably manhood or, yeah. or different outlooks in life and yeah. how you should go about life. And so this is why I'm saying, I don't like to say I'm sorry about your loss because it really wasn't a loss. It was an experience right. that um, basically just came to an end in the physical. Right, right. In the physical. 
Right. You get what I'm saying? Because like you said, it's always man. about, you know, what was mm -hmm. and what he always would say, you know, mm -hmm. you're a black man, y'all gonna make it. Right. You're a black, you know, everybody in the hood, you know, everybody else, they be yes and rap. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna make it. You and see then that? If we, he felt like we wasn't on our stuff, then he get on the, oh, y'all playing around, but y'all need to come on, y'all need to do this, and y'all need to be putting music here to here. Mm -hmm. So I, I took the inspiration with me, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, thinking about that, uh, you know, of course, that loss, and, um, you know, we still uh, push through it. Um, mm -hmm. We end up getting um, Issa. Uh, mm -hmm. He's uh, signed with Cash Money, you know, he's okay. a dope artist, a really um, conscious, lyrical artist. Good, you know, yeah, really, he, he sounds good. Yeah, he has some really does. good music, you know, mm -hmm. and America Sutton, she's mm -hmm. worked with a number of people. She's a singer, songwriter. Right. She had her first good. placement at like 12 with like Mariah mm -hmm. Carey. Wow. You know? So okay. she's been around and she's doing work with um, Teddy Riley. Mm -hmm. um, that's her mentor, you know. Okay. Um, so uh, we were blessed. We all came together and we wow. put this song together and um, you know, we sent it back, well, we got it back, you know, mm -hmm. and then me and B, uh, we teamed up and we engineered it, you know, mm -hmm. mixed and mastered it down. It's, it's, a, it's a great song, and I know it's going to go places. Y'all definitely got to search it up and we'll have the information, the movement. Yeah, most um, and I'm going to talk, I want to talk to you and um, Brandon a little later yeah. as far as, you know, the feeling of it together, mm -hmm. you know, with the whole race thing or whatever like that. Right, right. Being but, a different background. Right, different right. So we want to come more. back. We want to come back to that. Right, yeah. So, like, if you, I like to ask this question mm -hmm. for the visionary dreamers out there. If you were on the outside, you know, looking at this show, you know, right. looking at someone that has just created a masterpiece video and, you know, and then still had your experience of losing a loved one, but you pushed through. You get right. what I'm saying? What would you say to a visionary dreamer out there wanting to get into this music game? Um, because y'all independent, Free Your Mind right. Network Studios are right. independent. What oh, would you no. say to them um, if you were on the other end? What would you want someone to say to you if you're on the fence? On the fence about doing music? Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 I know you tired. Mm -hmm. I know you may be frustrated. I know you may got a lot of other things just going on that ain't even got to deal with music, you right. know, but it affects your music. And sometimes you may question, you know, whether I should really keep going or whether I should not. You know, mm -hmm. I've been there. A lot of us have. I'm going to say everybody, but right. I've been there. And um, it's a couple of things that you have to just keep in mind. Mm -hmm. um, the company you keep, mm -hmm. you know, you have to watch the energy that's around you because they say you are the sum total of the five closest people to you. That's what Brandon said. You know, mm -hmm. I, I always now. say it too. Come yes. On now. Mm -hmm. I preach that religiously, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So therefore, the people around you determines the type of out, uh, outlook, the type of attitude and perspective that mm -hmm. you're going to have on life. So if you're in these tough times, you need people that's pumping in, you know, that motivation right. and that positivity to inspire you and push you into the way, the, uh, way that mm -hmm. you're supposed to be going. Mm -hmm. And that's going to help because if not, you're going to have people that's going to take away. Right. Energy vampires. Back. Right. <laughs> gonna drain you till you dead. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, spiritually, mentally, physically, or however you want to look at it, though. Know? And mm -hmm. then of course number one, keep your faith. You know? <laughs> Y'all can go check out the movement, which is mm -hmm. family friendly. Family friendly. Mm -hmm. Um plus it's for a good cause. Uh it's on YouTube and it's also streaming on all uh, major platforms. And you said you're giving back? Yes. Okay. And the big thing about that is for every stream and for every download, fifty percent of the proceeds go directly, not to good. our hands, but directly to NAACP and the March On Foundation. You can look them up. Um, they are out here, of course, fighting for change, mm -hmm. uh, police reform, and mm -hmm. fighting against this police brutality and amongst other things that we have going on in America. Right. So that's us doing our part. You know, shout out to everybody that I said earlier that really came together and made that happen. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you guys, everybody. Everybody, everybody you know. from the, you know, the sound, and the music yeah. and the video yeah. of oh, the Muscle movement. Muscle Jam music. Gotta shout yeah. them out. They did the video. Yeah, too, so, Muscle Jam know. music. I, all so of y'all. So many people ain't want to leave nobody. Yeah. Out. Like, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know that's why I hate the name drop. Because yeah. it'd be like, you yeah. said, I'm like, dang it. <laughs>
<laughs> Y'all know my heart. Y'all yeah, my heart. exactly. But everybody, everybody, everybody that y'all. was involved with the project, I don't know y'all. Maybe one day we'll meet. But yeah. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all for putting that whole scene together. It's very inspirational. Um, and where can they find you? Um, you can find me on all streaming platforms, j.t.p or J. Harris, the producer, the letter J, Harris, the producer, how it's spelled. Mm-hmm. Um, same thing on social media, j.harris, the producer. Okay. You know, make your plan, go for what you want, you know, and mm-hmm. don't let nothing stop you. You know, keep pushing. What'd you say? Stop dreaming Start. and do Start it. Doing. Yeah. Right. What's up, guys? Adion here. I just thought I'd take you on my morning walk with me. Um, Hopefully to encourage you to just see the nature and and maybe just seeing the background of the nature will give you some energy, all the energy that I'm getting right now. I just wanted to share uh, an affirmation taken from my book, uh, The Visionary Dream, A 90 Day Journal. You, you right there watching You have the key to unlock your greatness. You, yes you, you have the key to unlock your greatness. It doesn't matter how it looks. We all go through things in life. That's what life is. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you are the last decision maker on how you want your life to look. You know, yes, you're gonna fall, you're going to struggle, you're going to face obstacles and challenges. But at the end of the day, you decide how long are you going to sit in it. You get what I'm saying? This TV show, ADI, Your Dream Pusher, was laid on my lap a whole year ago. You know, I had the opportunity. And I'm just starting it in the midst of a pandemic. You would think, how? You know, but my son and I, we sat down together and put our skill sets together, experience together, and decided, let's do it. Well, actually, he kind of feels sorry for me. He said he helped me out. <laughs> but now we're both executive producers on the, on the show, and uh, we've never done a TV show before, a few YouTube videos. But because of past experiences and skill sets that allowed us to figure out a way that we could bring it together. You get what I'm saying? Me being in the entertainment world, did media before, um, bringing those skill sets to the forefront and figuring out how can we be creative and utilize even the past jobs that I've had. You know, I've done marketing, sales, and advertisement, and things of that nature. So sometimes you need to sit with yourself. Go through all the different experiences, the industries you worked for, worked in, the skill sets that you've gained throughout life. Think about what it is that you really want to do. What is it that you're passionate about? What is it that you're naturally gifted or talented at? And then see how you can match up your experiences through life. You get what I'm saying? Don't focus on the failures, the mistakes. Focus on the achievements. Focus on the accomplishments, the goals that were completed. And then you will gain that wonderful, wonderful encouragement, self-motivation that you need to unlock your greatness, guys. So that's it for today. Sit down with yourself. Write down all your skill sets, all your experiences. And then on the other side, write down your true gifts, purpose that come naturally to you. And see how it is that you can match everything up to unlock your greatness. Because you do have the key. This is Adion here. Stay tuned. What's going on, my visionary dreamers? Adion here, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, the world, and some real bull. And today, guys, I have a special treat for you. I was on my walk and I came into the set of the New Depot Players. And now I'm sitting here with- Dave DePietro. Yes. 
and he's going to tell us a little bit about what they're up to and what they're doing and what you can expect from them. So Dave, thank you so much for coming and talking to my Visionary Dreamers. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much as well. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the New Depot players have been in Old Town Conyers for a great number of years, and we put on, naturally, uh, live theater here. Okay. And unfortunately, with the COVID and, and all the uh, you know problems we've been having, you know, having audiences, live audiences and everything, we uh, we are now live streaming, uh, and that's a lot of fun. Um, I'm the technical director of this particular production called um, "Living in the New Normal," which is perfect for this time and uh, place for 20, uh, 2020. Yes. But uh, we we have a number of projects coming up, especially for next year as well. We're just hoping that we can get the live audience back in. But in the meantime, what we're doing is we're we're certainly uh, out there with this particular production, which are five short plays uh, revolving around the new normal. And they were locally written, which is fantastic, yes. and performed naturally by the New Depot players. So uh, we really hope that people you know, check us out online, uh, thenewdepotplayers.com, and we'd love to have you on board and see some of our shows. Right, that's great. Where do you want this thing? Uh, uh, in a different apartment. How about on the sofa? Oh. Oh. New baby, huh? Yep. Yeah. I, I have one on the way myself. Any advice? Yeah, invest in a storage unit. <laughs> okay guys, we're back and I'm sitting here with Miss Jill. She is the director of this beautiful play that I'm going to let y'all see a few scenes from. So Miss Jill, tell us, you know, what were your thoughts? behind, you know, y'all coming together and putting this play together? Well, we all obviously miss live theater mm -hmm. and we are our own little family unit. Mm -hmm. We've all been working together for a long time, although we have a lot of new blood and young right. people coming on and joining us, but we needed to do something. We yes. needed to put something out there, not just for us, but for our patrons who are used to coming here. Okay. Um, so this filming was the ideal solution. That's great. That's great. And, you know, like you said, you put something together for your audience. So it's like, even though this situation is going on, there's always a way to still give back to your audience, your fans, Absolutely. and things of that nature. And it's just about adjustment, right? Sure. Oh, it is. It is. Okay, guys. Adion here. We're back again. And I'm sitting here with Miss Jada. She is one of the actress in the play for the New Depot Players. And she did a great job, guys. And I, I, I'm just enjoying myself. You have to be spontaneous sometimes because you never know what you'll run into. So, Miss Jada, yeah. <laughs> how long have you been acting? Um, so, I've been a performer my whole life. I started out singing. That was my main thing. Okay. And then when I was about 10 years old, my mom was like, hey, the lo local theater is doing Annie. You should audition. And I auditioned. And I... I dropped the sports ball and I started doing the oh. play thingies. So you sound like me. I was, I was a little tomboy too. I like to play sports, basketball, and all this. Stuff. Yeah, so, I, remember I did my first New Depot player show when I was about uh, 13, 14 ish. Wow. And That's yeah, I've been coming back here ever since. I love the community. That's Just one of the faces of yeah. the whole organization. I love it. I, love I, I guess it. something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and I love guys that the really does have a family feel to it and um, I think that's what makes it you know a good show. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. for sure. Well, I mean, this particular show um, that you just watched is rehearsed, The Souvenir, um, the the actor opposite of me is my boyfriend. Oh, wow. <laughs> I so we went. Like, yes. yes. I mean, like a real kiss. And I was just wondering, and, and it was over, you know, the film was over. So I'm like, okay. So yeah, that's like part of that family feel, but I will that's say great. that it's the New Depot players that brought us together. That's Absolutely. Awesome. Sorry, I just wanted to drop by and make sure that you were settling in and see if you need anything. I know how hard that first night home with a baby can be. Yeah, just a little. I'm gonna go check on her. You know that thing doesn't do any good around your neck, right? I'm at least seven feet away from you. Hey, and don't go in there right when she starts crying. Babies need to cry to strengthen their lungs. I remember when you were born, I would run in there at every little sound until your father finally said, Let's just let him fuss for a minute. And you straightened yourself right out. Hey, mask on, mouth and nose, thank you. There's hand sanitizer by the crib, by the dresser, and over by the door. Maybe just use all three just in case. Okay, my visionary dreamers, we're back again with another cast member, Mr. Jake. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, and you're actually Jada and Jake. Jada and Jake. Jada yeah. and Jake. I have That's the right. other half right here. So how long have you been acting? Uh, not very long. I've actually only done two shows prior to this, but I have a great wow. uh, acting coach. Mm -hmm. Jada, as you know. And yes. You'll see, she's fantastic. So great. You are too. Coach. You are too. Oh, I appreciate that. Y'all played off each other very well. I mean, I don't know if it's the relationship or is it just. That's you know, definitely what it is. Yeah. Okay. The inspiration to. But it was it was very good, and yeah, I just you. I like um, how you just it seems like it's so natural, you know what I mean? And what y'all talking about within the play, it really is, you know, it is what people kind of go through. I believe being in quarantine and things of that nature. Yeah, well, I do I do have a child, mm -hmm. Riley, and I just I went through this situation already, so it, okay. was, it was pretty easy to like remember that. Yes, that flashbacks. Yeah, flashbacks. Mm -hmm. It's always good to. Well, some flashbacks are good. <laughs> Not all. Nice. Back again. Another cast member sitting here with Miss Susan. She played the mother in the play, and she's actually a mother as well. We were sharing our little pictures of our son. <laughs> and she did a great job. You did a great job. Thank you. Honestly, uh, I have moved to Old Town Conyers. Mm -hmm because of this theater group. Wow. Um, these folks That's are great. my family, they are my friends, mm -hmm. and um, I'd be lost without them. Energy is everything, guys. I always say that, you know, once you find those like-minded people, you know, and it, it, it gives you a certain energy where you pretty much want to move forward with your life in a different way, right? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely, all these new chapters, and they do come along as chapters, and yes. you can look back and yes. see how that one closed. These artists are not going to go without the mm -hmm. arts, and their inspiration is still going, even in the pandemic. Yes. All of these uh, plays that are in Living in the New Normal, this project that we're mm -hmm. doing now, uh, they're all brand new plays. Some of us just need a stage, yes. and it's it's okay, mm -hmm. and it's encouraged. Yes. And so we always, I tell everyone, it's the nicest room you'll ever audition for, and it will change your life in such a positive fashion. Oh, Emma, she's perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this mask down for no, a just for a picture. No, mask, mask, mask on with the baby. All you can see is my crow's feet. Sorry. You know, I can hold her six feet away and you can take a selfie. Fine. You hold her. Hey. What are, what are you doing? Trying to block you out with my face. So it's just me and my granddaughter. Really? 
We're back again, guys. Adrian here, still on set. And I have with me Tyson. And he played the Amazon man. He played Big Teddy Bear, man. It was hot in me, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, I lost a couple pounds. I sweated it out. It's cool. That's a good sign, right? <laughs> yes. Right. And you said you were a part of the board first. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about that adjustment, you know? Uh, it's it's great it's mm -hmm. it's so nice just to be able to sit back and watch other people uh work on something that that you're so passionate about and they do it with so much dignity and honor and passion right right and i, I mean your role you know it was like an in and out role but i just like how you pretty much were um spray around make sure you put this hand sanitizer <laughs> on you know it's kind of like showing like okay yes definitely awareness as well as performance i like how y'all incorporated the two that was good that's good <laughs> guys i'm back again and i'm here with the president of the new depot players miss bonnie Thank you Hello. so much for talking with us, Miss Bonnie. Um, you're welcome. Yes, and since you're the president, you can give us even a little bit more insight about, you know, how did it even get started? Uh, it started in 1976. Wow. Um, they were trying to save the old train depot. Oh, and, okay. And so the uh, some of the locals decided it would be a good place to start uh, a community theater, and it oh. was. And, we have been going strong since that time. Mm -hmm. But so how does that feel, you know, for you knowing that, you know, you started so long ago and you're watching different actors and actresses um, come through, you know, how does that make you feel as you know, um, one of the people that is in the forefront of it? Well, you know, I'm just always inspired by all these people. There's so much talent. What is the age group that you cater to? Oh, well, um, it, we have all ages, and so we have booked the theater for February, end of February, okay. for our first show. That's and good. We hope that we can do that. It's going to happen. It's yes. Going to happen. Okay, guys, Adion, and I'm back, and this has definitely been a great episode. I really hope that you enjoy viewing and listening to the New Depot Players Group. Awesome, awesome group, and. This goes to show you guys, when you stop dreaming and do it and go after your dreams, I mean, I was just doing my regular walk and I peeked my head in and a couple of hours later, I'm here filming to show you guys the new Depot group and so that you can be inspired. And if you're an actor or actress out there, you can kind of see a different way you could go about things. Start your YouTube channel, start your live stream, or better yet, come on down to Old Conyers and make sure you look for the New Depot Players Group. Audition, you never know. So until next time, guys, this is ADI, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, the world, and some real bull. And you are viewing ADI, your dream pusher, TV show. This episode of ADI, Your Dream Pusher TV Show, was sponsored by ZNF Dominican Hair Salon, the ladies that keeps my hair beautiful and healthy. Open Monday through Saturday. For more information, contact Zobi or FIFA at 770-648-6662. This episode of ADI Your Dream Pusher TV Show was sponsored by the Conyers Mini Mall, the place where visionary dreamers' dreams become a reality. Located at 1439 Old Selim Road, Southeast, Conyers, Georgia, 30013. For more information, call 770-922-2000.
7927 and ask for chemo.